Action rules help to build processes and workflows. They're triggered only when a client or technician creates or updates a ticket. In this video, we'll take a look at an example of when a CEO opens a help desk ticket. Our goal is to prioritize a CEO help desk ticket and process it as soon as possible. In Web Help Desk, you can navigate to the action rules through the setup menu, select Processes, and then select Action Rules in the menu option. To start a new action rule, click New. Under the Action Rules Info tab, we have several options. The Priority option selects the action rule's priority when multiple action rules are triggered by a new or updated ticket. You can only execute one action rule at a time, and your first action rule could modify the ticket where the remaining action rules are irrelevant. So it's important to outline the order of your action rules first before you apply them to your ticket so they all work together. For this rule, the priority will be 1. In the Rule Name field, I'll enter CEO's Ticket Bump. Now, I'll describe what this rule will do so it's easy for techs and clients to understand each rule on the Action Rules page. The Cascade option is always enabled by default. Each time a ticket is updated, there could be any number of action rules that match that ticket at the same time. Disabling the Cascade option stops rules with a lower priority than this one from executing at the time of saving. You can decide if the action rule is triggered when you create a ticket or when the ticket is updated. In this example, I want to run the action rule for all ticket updates every time. Now, I need to define how Web Help Desk will know that the CEO created this ticket. I'll click the Criteria tab and select Client as the defining ticket field. Next, I'll select Email and Is Equal To in the next two drop down menus. Finally, I'll enter the CEO's email address in the last field. Now I need to define what happens when the CEO creates a ticket. I'll click the Actions tab select Change Priority in the first drop-down menu, and set that to Critical. To add another action, just click the plus button. Here in the Assign To section, I'm going to assign this ticket to my best tech. When the CEO creates a ticket, I also want to send an email to the director as an FYI. I'll add another action, select Send Email, and add the director's email address. Recipients is always an action email. Enter the director's email address or another contact other than the client or tech already assigned to the ticket, who should receive this email. Next, enter a subject for the email. Then in the Template section, I can personalize the message so it applies to the receiver. If I use tags, I can automatically add information about the ticket, such as who the ticket is assigned to, the ticket number, and the due date. You can only use these tags in the Template field. Now, when a ticket is submitted with the CEO's email address as the client, Web Help Desk triggers the action rule and automates the process for you. There are many more and exciting ways you can use action rules. Take a look at all the criteria and action options available to you. Using Web Help Desk, you can automate your unique processes and streamline your help desk operations. Check out the video entitled Parent-Child Relationships to learn how to use action rules and parent-child relationships that initiate a complex task, such as setting up a new employee.